Hi, I'm Liam from Star and Garda. We're nominated for Venue of the Year. Well, I've been running the Star and Garda for around 18 months. Uh, we have sort of grown it as a music venue and hope to, hope to establish it as one of Challenge with top, top venues. Uh, I've got live music every, uh, every weekend, both Friday and Saturday. Um, it's open mic jam sessions on Sunday, uh, also last Thursday of the month. We do uh, the various bands come in on Thursdays, mainly acoustic bands. Uh, we've also got things like an, an all day reggae event we'll be holding the bank holidays. If anyone wants to find information on what we're doing, please look at our Facebook page, Star and Garda. I get nominated for a award like the Panic Awards, I was very important to the venue. Uh, most people are out there listening to or appreciating what you do. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who has voted for us. Uh, it does mean a lot to us that people enjoy our venue. It's quite a small venue, but the atmosphere there being small is, is terrific. Uh, everybody's welcome there any time. Anybody wants to have a great night and join live music, please come on. Hi, I'm Dave and this is Max, and we are part of the team at The Basement, which has been nominated for Venue of the Year, the Panic Awards. 2016. We're the place to go in town if you want to hear some live bands, want to have a dance, hear some classic tracks, have a great time, cut loose. Getting nominated for this award is awesome. It's really nice to be uh, one involved with all of the venues in Jumpsuit which have been nominated, including ones who haven't been nominated because everyone involved with live music in Jumpsuit are great and awesome for getting involved with live music and culture in Jumpsuit and it's really nice to be a part of that crew and team. Absolutely. They're companions. They are. They are chums. chums. Yeah, we'd like to thank everyone who voted for us for this award. It means a lot to us and makes it all worthwhile. We feel very good about it. So, thanks very much everyone. Uh, coming up at the basement in the next year, we're going to get big names into intimate venues in Chumpton. And we've already got announced Maverick Sabre coming up and DJ Yeller from NWA. You can check out The Basement at our Facebook page, Twitter and Instagrams, or even better, is come down to The Basement. What you can expect is some pretty cool bands going on, we've got the best DJs, in my opinion, the best DJs, also mine, and his. Um, really good choice of music that you're just not going to hear in every other bar. It's a bit off the beaten track, good drinks, good times. Powerful dance floor. Powerful. Dirty dance <laughs> People get wild on there. Things happen, it's great, we love it. We have a lot of grotty dance for. I'm Ahmed, and we're nominated for Venue of the Year, and we're from, from Asylum. Asylum. We're a live music venue, and we've been dedicated to music since we opened nearly three years ago. Uh, we also do comedy nights, quiz nights, uh, do acoustic nights downstairs bar, general meeting place for any, any, anyone locally. We're very grateful to all the people that support us. We, we realise that everybody's got less than less money to spend. They come in here, keep us afloat, and it's, at the end of the day it is your club. It's all about the people that come in. On the 23rd of April we've got a ska band coming in, it's called Ska Society, with um, three other punk bands. Uh, the 29th of April we've actually got the punk band Vibrators coming back, we're going since the 70s. And we're actually supporting them ourselves, Stormchild. Uh, 30th of April, we've got Joe Fest, which is a charity all day uh, fundraiser for dystonia. Uh, the wife of one of our doormen has got dystonia herself, so we base the whole thing around her and the problems she has and trying to raise awareness of the illness. So that's about 12 acts, and entry for that is £5 on the door, all going to the charity. Uh, the 7th of May we've got our third birthday bash and we've got some excellent love music from Lucky Strikes and Creme de Chef. Creme de Chef. Mm. Asylum's a venue that welcomes all genres, all people, whatever you wear, suit or leather, we're welcoming to everybody and all ages of, of course if you're over 18. What we originally established this club for was to support the grassroots of up and coming young bands. A lot of youngsters don't get a place to play, we want to provide a platform for not only accomplished bands but beginners bands. Uh, I'm Alex from the Our House and we were nominated for Venue of the Year, 2016 Pinnacle Awards. I think it's great that the public nominated the Our House for Venue of the Year. It means people are actually getting out there to independent places, wanting to listen to live music and want somewhere they can have a decent beer or any sort of drink that's not run-of-the-mill stuff. I'd like to thank everybody for nominating us. Uh, it means a lot to the Our House. Uh, it means we have a following who want to be there all the time. It also means that people are interested in independent places, wanting to listen to live music. I think it's important for Chelmsford as a community to get people engaged in going out as a group, safely, listening to good music. Uh, coming up at the Ale House, we have our Best of British Beer Festival over St George's Day weekend. We're going to have 
uh, Hal and Matt play, who is sort of like C6 Steve, but the English version. He plays Stompbox, he builds his own guitar, uh, soul, southern rock, blues. So yeah, it should be really, really cool. Uh, I think the penny boards are great, like I said before, to get people really, really interested in what's going on around them. The young talent that's around, or well, the talent that's been around for years when I was really noticed. Uh, I think it's important for all the venues to, to get their footfall through and people talking about it. Because if people aren't talking about a place, no one's going to go in there for a drink. You know, you don't walk into an empty restaurant expecting decent food, so why would you go to an empty pub expecting a decent beer or decent music? So I think the Panic Awards are great. Uh, hopefully they'll keep going for many more years to come. But it does need your support though. So make sure you are talking about the Panic Awards, get the magazine, uh, and everyone support your local.